A simple five-minute mistake every morning is costing diesel owners thousands in premature turbo failures, DPF replacements, and injector damage. The wrong warm-up procedure doesn't just waste fuel, it actively damaging your engine from the inside out. And the most shocking thing, nearly 70% of diesel owners use the wrong warm-up procedure. In this video, you'll discover the scientifically proven method for warming up your diesel engine that protects your investment and extends engine life. Make sure to watch till the end because the biggest mistake people make happens after they think the engine is warmed up. Diesel engines are fundamentally different from gasoline engines. They rely on compression to ignite fuel rather than spark plugs, which means they run rougher when cold and require more time to reach efficient operating temperatures. Cold diesel engines face three critical problems. Engine oil becomes thick and viscous in cold temperatures, increasing friction between moving parts. Cold combustion chambers don't burn fuel efficiently, leading to incomplete combustion and carbon buildup. The fuel itself doesn't vaporize properly when cold, making combustion even less efficient. Cold starts without proper warm-up creates significantly more engine wear than normal driving, which is why your warm-up procedure matters so much. Now here's the biggest mistake most diesel owners make. Letting the engine idle for 10, 15, or even 20 minutes before driving. This extended idling actually hurts your diesel engine more than it helps. Diesel engines produce very little heat at idle because they burn minimal fuel. Unlike gasoline engines that maintain relatively constant combustion temperatures, diesels have variable combustion temperatures based on load. When idling, your diesel operates at such low combustion temperatures that fuel doesn't burn completely. This creates a phenomenon called wet stacking, where unburned fuel and carbon accumulate in the combustion chamber, exhaust system, and turbocharger. Over time, wet stacking leads to injector problems, turbo failure, and DPF clogging. Extended idling also keeps your engine oil from reaching proper operating temperature. Cold, thick oil can't lubricate effectively, so those critical engine components continue experiencing excessive wear, even though the engine is running. Your turbocharger is especially vulnerable because it requires thin, hot oil for proper bearing lubrication. Modern diesel engines with emissions equipment suffer even more from extended idling. The diesel particulate filter needs high exhaust temperatures to regenerate and burn off accumulated soot. Idling creates such low exhaust temperatures that the DPF can't clean itself, leading to premature clogging and expensive replacements. So, what's the correct warm-up procedure? The answer depends on temperature, but the principle remains the same. Minimal idling followed by gentle driving under light load. Here's the temperature-based warm-up guide. When temperatures are above 50 degrees Fahrenheit, idle for only 30 to 60 seconds after starting. This gives oil pressure time to build and allows initial lubrication to reach all components. Then drive away gently, keeping RPMs below 2000 until the temperature gauge shows the engine warming up. When temperatures are between 0 and 50 degrees Fahrenheit, idle for 2 to 3 minutes. This slightly longer idle time allows thicker oil to thin out and begin circulating properly while clearing windows. Again, once you start driving, keep it gentle with low RPMs until the engine reaches normal operating temperature. When temperatures drop below 0 degrees Fahrenheit, idle for 5 minutes maximum. Even in extreme cold, idling longer than 7 minutes provides no additional benefit and starts causing the wet stacking problems mentioned earlier. After this short warm-up, drive gently with minimal load for the first few miles. The key is understanding that diesel engines need load to warm up effectively. When you drive gently, the engine burns more fuel, creates more heat, and warms up faster than it ever could while idling. The increased combustion temperatures help everything reach operating temperature properly, including oil, coolant, transmission fluid, and differential fluid. Here's the proper technique for gentle warm-up driving. Keep your RPMs below 2,000 for the first 5 to 10 minutes of driving. Avoid hard acceleration, high speeds, or pulling heavy loads until the temperature gauge reaches normal range. Don't use full throttle or maximum boost until engine oil temperature is fully up, which takes longer than coolant temperature. The turbocharger bearings require thin, hot oil for proper lubrication. Cold starts are hardest on turbo bearings, so those first few minutes of gentle driving are critical for turbo longevity. Avoid boost and high RPMs until oil temperature is up. Now, let's talk about tools that make cold weather starting easier and reduce warm-up time. Block heaters are essential for anyone in cold climates. These electric heaters pre-warm the engine block, coolant, and oil before starting, making cold starts dramatically easier and reducing initial engine wear. 
Plug your block heater in two to four hours before starting in cold weather. You don't need to leave it plugged in all night, which wastes electricity. A timer can automate this process, turning the heater on a few hours before you typically start the vehicle. Battery warmers are also valuable in extreme cold. Diesel engines require enormous cranking power due to high compression ratios. Batteries lose 35% of their power at freezing temperatures and up to 60% at zero degrees Fahrenheit. A battery warmer maintains temperature and ensures reliable starting. Use winter-grade diesel fuel or fuel additives in cold weather. Diesel fuel can gel and form wax crystals in low temperatures, blocking fuel filters and preventing fuel flow. Winter additives lower the fuel's cold filter plugging point, keeping it flowing even in extreme cold. Here's another critical point most diesel owners miss. You need to warm up more than just the engine. Your transmission and differential also contain thick cold oil that needs to reach operating temperature. Extended idling warms the engine but does nothing for transmission and differential fluids. When you drive gently during the warm-up period, you're allowing all fluids throughout the vehicle to warm up gradually and simultaneously. This prevents shock-loading cold transmission and differential components, which extends their lifespan significantly. For vehicles with manual transmissions, be especially gentle with shifts during warm-up. Cold transmission fluid makes synchronizers work harder, and aggressive shifting can cause damage. Let the transmission warm up through gentle driving before making aggressive gear changes. Now here's the mistake that happens after warm-up. Many diesel owners think once the temperature gauge reaches normal, the engine is fully warmed up. Not true. The coolant temperature gauge shows when coolant is warm, but engine oil takes significantly longer to reach full operating temperature. Oil temperature lags behind coolant temperature by 10 to 15 minutes of driving. Even though your coolant gauge shows normal, your oil might still be only partially warmed up. Continue driving conservatively until your confident oil temperature is fully up, typically after 15 to 20 minutes of total driving time. Some newer diesels have oil temperature gauges or displays. Use this information to determine when your engine is truly ready for full power operation. If your vehicle doesn't have oil temperature monitoring, err on the side of caution and extend your gentle warm-up period. Let's also address cool-down procedures, which are equally important for turbocharged diesels. After hard driving or towing, your turbocharger is extremely hot. Shutting off the engine immediately stops oil flow to the turbo bearings while they're still spinning and extremely hot. Let your engine idle for 30 to 90 seconds after hard driving to allow the turbo to cool down gradually while still receiving oil flow. Watch your exhaust gas temperature gauge if you have one. Wait until EGT drops to 300 to 400 degrees before shutting down. This simple cool down period dramatically extends turbo life. So there you have it. The best way to warm up your diesel vehicle. If you find this video informative, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you made it this far, I appreciate you.